Hello friends. Today we will learn how to unit test a method which uses a static method in uh, method call inside it and also uh, which doesn't return any value. We can say it's a type of uh, it's void return type. We will uh, consider this get API review function method. In this method, we are calling, we are using network report dot get score. This get score is a static method of network repo, and our class is utils class. So here we will not test the uh, functionality inside the network repo, but uh, we will verify how we can mock this get score method that which is static method and also uh, in this method the second line is get review get review is is a method that is uh, present inside in the utils class in the same class you see get review it's in, in the same utils class and it doesn't return any value that means uh, whenever we uh, the uh, what does this get review method does so uh, whenever we call this get api review method first it it gets score from network response and then it calls to the get review method so we need to verify these two functionality of this get api review method okay. uh, uh, let's see here okay uh, here we have just uh, taken one example of a static method in java but uh, in actual uh, use case uh, you will find that it, it will not directly return this new score okay. uh, but uh, it will be uh, actual network call and then getting the data from there so, uh, but uh, the key thing is here, the method is static here. The method is static type of network repo. So, utils methods, uh, uh, utils methods, method calls a met method of network repo which is static. Now, let's unit, uh, write unit test for that. It is get API review. Okay. Uh, let's uh, delete our previous thing uh, we can write uh, another okay let's uh, write it uh, another test here we'll be writing for this method and uh, as we are using mock k uh, as we discussed that uh, we need to use clear all mock and on mock all before all uh, before any test execution so this line should will be there or should be there and let's write test get api review and we need to unit this so annotate with test utils we can say while it is also mm -hmm. and the actual me method call is here get api review and then we will have the post verification application is the this will be the last step and this is the method call and before that we have pre pre uh, pre we can say preconditions conditions uh, okay this method calls get score of this network repo that means the get score is static so we cannot use mock here uh, directly we can use mock static for that so 
mock static class why mock static because get that get score method of network repo is a static method that's why this line is required okay now when uh, we are saying that uh, uh, we'll return some mock value we'll mock this get score method and uh, return a mock mock value here now uh, that means we need to answer the values for for any method call of any mock we need to answer the value here the network repo became mock this class became mocked one so we we'll write every network rep repo dot get score returns score so that means we need to mock the score object as well we can also uh, uh, return the actual object but uh, uh, lots of time you will find that actual object uh, returning is not easy because uh, the actual object creation is heavy so now we are saying we have done till till this but after uh, after that the value get gets passed to get review method okay so now get review method belongs to your utils class so <coughs> in this method we are not here to verify the functionality of get review method but we are here to verify get api review that means we we need to bypass the get review method call how we can bypass as uh, we are testing that class only utils class only that means we cannot use mock instead of that we we need to use spike so use spike a we'll write every utils dot get review of any returns some uh, some value write any any value it returns an uh, empty object yes, sorry it returns an uh, string so we, we can uh, also return some some of the value uh, he said let's we'll return invalid review the string that means we are saying that uh, whenever uh, this get review method gets called just return invalid review and in this return in this get api review the return type is unit means it's void return type uh, that means we cannot verify with the result but we can we need to verify the behavior here when we cannot verify the uh, result we need to verify the behavior and what is the behavior the behavior is in in this method whether get review methods uh, method gets called or not in get api review method whether get review me methods gets called or not and how many times it's get, uh, it should get uh, called only one if you are calling this method one uh, met method that means get review methods method should get called only once so in verification we will write verification verify exactly one utils dot get review now we are not verifying the uh, actual method whatever oh, actual uh, uh, parameter whatever gets passed but only we are verifying whether this uh, method gets called or not okay 
so let's execute it yes success that means we are say, uh, in this unit test we are saying that uh, whenever uh, this utils dot get api review method gets called uh, then or uh, it or the then the, the get review method should get called maximum and minimum one means exactly once and the key things thing is here to use mock static and write the every uh, the statement for the uh, method of the static class also as we are verifying the behavior of the, of the same class and uh, of also we don't have any return type and uh, we are we are just returning some value for get review method that's why we are using spy k or you can spy thank you